When your car is driving smoothly, there is a lot that goes into allowing that to happen. Freeze it. When you step on your gas pedal and your car is not revving, there is a lot from massive flow sensor, internal combustion engine related issues, pistons, valve, fuel atomizations. There are a lot of factors that can actually cause this issue and today we'll be exploring eight factors that makes your car not to rev. Hello, good morning guys. This is Dr. Cool Auto Fix. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you top eight reasons why your car start up but won't rev up, won't accelerate. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be supplying you information to use and fix your car for free. When you start up your car and step on the gas pedal, Optimally, the car is supposed to respond and rev, but when the car would not rev up, when the car, when you are pressing it, you show that you are pressing it, but the car is not revving up. Number one cause of that is a bad throttle pedal. If this throttle pedal is bad, most throttle pedals, which you might not make, take a note of, has a sensor on it. And that is what it's called, the sensor, you can see that sensor right there. The blue yellow stuff so the sensor the throttle pedal sensor is responsible for transmitting signals about your input values which you're making each time you step on the gas pedal so when the throttle pedal gets bad you will start up your car and the car will run just fine but your car will not accelerate a quick scan of your car using the obd scan tool will often help you to narrow down the cause of the problem because there are other hosts of electronic components that can actually cause the same problem or factors in your car the second reason why your car starts just fine but won't rev up or accelerate is the bad throttle body this is the throttle body for this very car for most cars it's going to be having different configurations so this one here is equipped with throttle body some way some that are not equipped with throttle body we have a throttle body but they have uh, a control system where there is a throttle position sensor around those areas so that's a different situation but typically they're going to be having almost the same thing so this throttle body when it fails your car will start off fine but it won't rev up because the ecm constantly rely on the input values which they or data which the throttle body sends to it to be able to control or actuate the function of you depressing your gas pedal next is if your car is equipped with throttle body but at the same time there is a throttle position sensor a bad throttle position sensor can actually mimic exactly the same thing so when you have a bad throttle position sensor it will give no signal it will transmit no data signal to the ecm of your car which is this guy right here so if the ecm doesn't receive any input data from a throttle position sensor or your throttle body then it will not actuate the function of you it will not recognize the signal you are giving you are sending when you're depressing the gas pedal and that is why your car will not rev up the fourth reason why your car will not rev up is a bad ecm this is something which I've come across in Volkswagen models, Audis. For any reason, if there is any problem that actually shuts your ECU, your ECU could be bad and still starts up the car. The car starts fine, but in this case, when you're pressing or pressing your gas pedal and it's not responding, first thing first, you want to check your dashboard, your cluster gauge, because most European cars, when the ECM fails, you're often going to see an EPC light flashing or constantly on right here. If you're finding an EPC light on your Volkswagen or Audi or any European model, specifically Volkswagen, that could be, that's a technically speaking error, you have a bad throttle body or you could have a bad throttle pedal sensor or you could have a bit of bad throttle body and bad ECM. 
in some case you could be having bad ECM or bad throttle pedal so but if you replace the throttle pedal and the problem persists replace the throttle body if the problem persists then you know definitely you have a bad ECU and replacing it will often solve this problem Number five reason why your car will not rev up is a bad fuel pump. The fuel pump is always playing like a ghost inside the car because most of the times it is hidden right in the back seat, in the rear seat of your car. And it's tasked with transporting the fuel to the combustion chamber. And this is the fuel line that comes from the fuel pump. So if the fuel pump fails, it will only send just a little fuel which is actually going to start up your car. But each time you start pressing your gas pedal, which is this guy right here, you are calling for more fuel. Inability of your fuel pump to send more fuel will not allow your car to rev up even if you're flooring your gas pedal. So be sure to check your fuel pump if it has been quite a long time you replace it and you'll be needing another one. The next cause of your car starting but will not rev up is a bad mass airflow sensor. This is a mass airflow sensor for this very car. The mass airflow sensor is tasked with metering the air that is going inside your engine. The whole air system, you have the filter here, and you have this channel that directs air to go through here. So whenever I go through here, you see there is a filter in there. The air gets filters before it gets here. And this meters the air that goes inside there in order to be able to mix correctly with the amount of fuel being injected into the engine when the mass airflow sensor goes bad you will start up your car sometimes and the car will shut off there are a lot of other symptoms that it can actually portray but most often times if the mass airflow sensor goes bad your car might not rev up correctly or not rev up at all the next guy on board that can actually make your car not to rev up when you start up your car is a map sensor map sensor is technically speaking are wired to do the same thing that the mass airflow sensor does so in some cars that are equipped with math map sensor will not be equipped with math sensor except if the car is actually not natural aspirated is turbocharged if it's turbocharged then you will have both math sensor a map sensor because the presence of map sensor there is to check the absolute pressure within the pressure boost of the uh, turbo. The ECM need to know the pressure which the turbo has boosted in order to mix the air fuel ratio correctly. The last guy that will cause your car to start up and will not rev up is a bad IAC valve. IAC simply means idle air control valve, and that is why you often see this to be occurring if your car is equipped with throttle body like this because every throttle body that's like this that have no throttle position sensor is encapsulated inside IAC valve but other cars that have a throttle body without with a, with a, a throttle position sensor has IAC valve somewhere so if the IAC valve is bad you will stop the car but it will not allow the car to rev if you depress the gas pedal now that you know top it cause of why your car will not rev up your car will not accelerate when you start up. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I remain Dr. Cool Auto Fix. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.